Hi everybody, I'm Nancy and I'm going to talk to you today about natural solutions and using doTERRA. So I've been using essential oils for about 10 or 11 years now and I started them using them uh, during health crisis. I had been diagnosed with breast cancer about, uh, it's actually almost 11 years ago now, it's hard to believe. Um, but I had an advanced form of breast cancer and I went through kind of like the whole full meal deal. I was, um, he went through chemotherapy, radiation therapy. I had seven surgeries and, you know, you name it. It was, uh, I had it at that time. So it was a pretty down time for me. And about six months after I had finished most of that stuff, I was, I was faced with a recurrence. So I had to kind of source some other paths for healing. And that's kind of really where I started. I started looking at other people who had been diagnosed with advanced cancer and kind of the things that they were doing for their health and wellness. And I was really looking at people who were doing really well and living full, very healthy lifestyles. And that's what I wanted to do. So I started research, researching all kinds of different things. Like, you know, it, it was diet and juicing and exercise. And I was using all kinds of different modalities of uh, healing, like yoga and Reiki, energy medicine, reflexology, you name it. I was looking through all of it uh, back in that time. And it was really during the time when um, nutritional science was just starting to emerge. There were a few... Um, there were a few really good books out at the time on uh, nutritional science because it was really just starting to become a, a popular thing. Or I wouldn't say a popular thing, but it was starting to become a thing. So I was really focused on how I could kind of empower myself and how I could kind of improve my own immune system and how I could just feel better. And my very first oil was peppermint because I had started using that during the time that I was sick and it helped with, you know, it helped with my head. It helped with nausea that I had and it just, you know, changed the energy in the room. And I, I really enjoyed that peppermint. And so I had started using and, and exploring essential oils at that time. And uh, I started using doTERRA about two years ago, a friend of mine, Andrea, she had been after me for a while. She's like, hey, I'm using these wonderful essential oils and I think you'd really like them. And uh, I was like, yeah, no, I know everything there is to know about essential oils. I don't, uh, I have essential oils. Thank you very much. Like, I'm good. And uh, sh she kept at me and she's like, no, but you have not tried doTERRA essential oils. They are amazing. They are the best. And I was like, yeah, whatever. And I happened to be um, back in New Brunswick for a visit and she gave me a sample of peppermint. And I actually hadn't even opened it until I got back to Alberta and I opened it and I was like, oh my God, this is really good. It was really good peppermint. And the reason was, is because doTERRA has a much higher quality of essential oils than other companies. But I, you know, I, I didn't know that at the time. I didn't know. It's kind of like I liken it to people who know a lot about wine and they really enjoy wine. And, uh, you know, you give them a good bottle of wine and they're happy and you give them a bad bottle of wine. And they're like, Oh, this is awful wine. Well, I didn't know there was such a difference in essential oils back then. And now I know the difference. So it's like, you can't go back. There's no way to go back. So that's kind of where my journey began with essential oils. And I've been using doTERRA essential oils and, and sharing them ever since, because I really truly believe that every single person needs to have essential oils in their house, in their house. It should be part of your, and, you know, your health and wellness toolkit, whether you're using them um, to heal emotionally or you're, whether you're using them to heal physically, because usually the two things go hand in hand. We all have stuff that goes on in our lives and uh, essential oils are good. Uh, they're a good tool to add to helping you deal with your day-to-day -day issues. So let me just... So I'm going to talk to you about what essential oils are, how to use them, and what's the most affordable way to get doTERRA into your home if you want them. So there are two approaches to health and wellness. There's the modern approach, which has really been, um, you know, kind of used for the last 100, 150 years. So if you think about medications and a lot of different pills, what are they? They're really um, what pharmaceutical companies have done is they're trying to isolate compounds or constituents that come from plants and use those in a synthetic format. Um, but we know that there's 
all kinds of side, effect, of side effects that come along with using drugs. I know that personally. I still am dealing with side effects that I had from a lot of my treatments from 10 years ago. So um, they can be long lasting and uh, you just have to watch television and watch any television commercial that is promoting a pharmaceutical to know there's a lot of side effects. Like if you listen to the side effects that they have. So I'll just say, don't get me wrong. I think that modern medicine is wonderful and we have advanced so far in technology. If, you know, if I, if I was in a car accident or if one of my kids fell down and broke a leg, I'm rushing them to the outdoor, or the, to the emergency room. I want them to go to the hospital. If my dad uh, needs uh, you know, heart surgery, I'm going to be taking him to a cardiac surgeon. It makes sense. But where we're really falling down in the modern approach to medicine is we are taking way too many medications. We are taking way too many drugs and it is not helping. Um, when you're looking at systemic or like chronic type diseases, um, medications are not helping. So I think it was like in the eighties that Nancy Reagan and Ronald Reagan declared the, you know, the war on cancer and guess what? It has only gotten worse. If you look at any, uh, epidemiology studies or, you know, look at any stats, um, cancer rates have risen. It's, you know, it used to be like one in 20 or one in 30 women were diagnosed with breast cancer, you know, 30, 40 years ago. And now it's, you know, one in eight, and it's probably getting closer to one in seven. So many people, if you look at the number of childhood illnesses or childhood ailments that, uh, kids are dealing with, um, anxiety, depression, ADHD, um, allergies, uh, autism. There's so many things that we're dealing with. Um, I don't, and, and ALS, like, I don't know about you, but ALS 25 years ago, that was a rare disease. And I, you know, you're hearing about that more and more and more. So all of these kind of like autoimmune and, uh, very chronic diseases are on the rise and, um, we, we need to deal with that and we need to deal with that in a, you know, multiple ways with our diet, with nutrition and, with supportive tools like essential oils. So I like to choose the more natural approach to healing. So essential oils are really, they're, they're just plants. And uh, with doTERRA, we know that they are, you know, pure unadulterated plants that are in the bottles. And so I like to use, you know, plants are kind of put here on the earth to help us feed ourselves and heal. That's what they're here for. So it kind of makes sense. People have been using them for thousands and thousands of years. So I like to start with a more natural approach. If you need something escalated, then you escalate it. But for the most part, you can deal with 80% of the common issues that you have in your home, just with diet, exercise, and getting rid of junk in your house and using your essential oils. That's my story. I'm sticking to it because I'm really passionate about it. So let's just talk about um, what essential oils actually are. They are actually their um, volatile uh, aromatic compounds that come from plants and they're safe. They're effective. You have minimal to no side effects using them. Um, you can use them on everything from babies to elderly people without having any uh, massive side effects. And the way um, doTERRA uh, you know, obtains their essential oils, they're either steam distilled, um, where it's just the aromatic compound that's left over, which is what gets bottled into the bottles, or um, they're cold pressed, like the citrus oils and things like that are cold pressed. And you end up with this beautiful aromatic essential oil that is full of all kinds of goodness for you and for you and your family and your body and your home. So there's amazing things that uh, you can do with essential oils. The other really cool thing about essential oils, because the molecules are so small, they can actually cross through the cell membrane and actually affect that cell membrane. So help with cell regeneration and help with the cell die off of bad, bad cells that you don't want replicating. They're really, really good for that. They're also really powerful for affecting our mood and things because they can go up through the olfactory and into the limbic part of the brain. If, um, you know, if you had some type of traumatic brain injury or if you had a brain tumor or something like that, there's no way to actually get medicine directly to the brain unless they're drilling through your head. Um, but with essential oils, you can actually, they cross the blood brain barrier. So you can actually get them to the brain. And that's why they're so powerful for affecting 
uh, in an enhancing mood and uh, calming people down because they actually go into that, um, you know, that part of the brain where your emotions are, are stored and handled. So there's really a lot of uh, different uses for them. And I will just tell you as well, they're extremely potent, even though it's just a little tiny bottle of essential oils. Um, they're really potent. So one drop of peppermint oil is equivalent to about 28 cups of peppermint tea. So that's really affordable and safe and effective. So let's talk about um, the other side and what are the kind of differences with essential oils. And this is why I really, really like doTERRA because they've done it really, really well. They've basically you know, they've said we're going to be the best essential oil company in the world. It's as simple as that. We are going to make sure that our essential oils are of the top quality. Um, so what they do is they actually, they go to the countries where the oils are either meant to grow or they're indigenous to. So you get optimal soil conditions, optimal weather conditions, and you end up with plants that are of optimal use and they're they're just high much higher quality so it totally makes makes sense um there are different kind of you know there are so many people using essential oils or selling essential oils on the market it's really confusing for people um because everybody wants to be in the essential oil business these days but um most of those companies are not doing it right so there are different kind of grades of uh essential oils there's synthetic essential oils which um, those are types of things that they use in things like cleaning products, um, just to mask up all those nasty chemicals, um, things like, you know, peppermint and peppermint candy. Um, there are some companies that are using or, uh, creating essential oils that, you know, they're, they might be organic when they may not have anything else in them, but they don't have the same therapeutic level as doTERRA essential oils. And one of the things is health practitioners, um, although you know essential oils have been used for thousands of years, a lot of health practitioners hadn't been using essential oils um, in their practices because they weren't getting consistent results. And that's because they weren't getting a consistent quality. And what doTERRA has done is they make sure that every single batch of oil is tested, right? You know, from the time it starts at the farm um, it's triple tested. So it's tested there. It's tested a couple times and it's also tested when it gets back to Utah, which is where doTERRA's head office is to make sure that what left that farm is what's in that bottle. And it is of the same quality. Nothing's been added. Um, nobody's tried to like add anything it to produce more oil. It's, it's, it's essentially what left the farm is what is in the bottle. So you get this CPTG, um, you know, triple tested therapeutic oil. And this is what all of the researchers that are researching essential oils, they're using doTERRA essential oils to research because they are far superior to other essential oils on the market. doTERRA is also working with a lot of medical clinics to start using essential oils in, a, you know, in a medical setting. So it's, it's really super exciting. We're like on the cusp of understanding um, you know, getting to the science behind essential oils. People have known for thousands of years that they work, um, but um, they haven't been tested the way that they're starting to be tested now. So it's super exciting. Before I go there, I'm going to just talk about, um, I'm going to talk about the three ways that you use essential oils. So let's talk about aromatically. So I'm going to use peppermint because this was my very first, my very first uh, date with essential oils. Uh, so, you know, to use them aromatically, you can use it in a diffuser, of course. You just put uh, a couple drops in a diffuser with um, some water and you diffuse it aromatically into the air and everybody who's in the room benefits from it. Most people tend not to be allergic to essential oils when a lot of people say that they're allergic to um, scents. Typically, it's because they're allergic to the synthetic fragrances. Not that you can't be allergic to a plant or anything like that, you absolutely can, but uh, for the most part, people are not. So aromatically, I'm just gonna rub my hands together and then I'm gonna inhale it. And it goes up, you know, into, into the brain. You can just feel this like opening. And then I just take it and I kind of like rub it on the back of my neck. And I love uh, using peppermint like throughout my day. 
Um, if you're tired in the afternoon, this is a really good pick me up. If you've got kind of like some, if your head is pounding in the afternoon, this is what I like to, to pick up and grab for that. So it's really cool that way. Some other essential oils um, that I like, let's talk about On Guard. So On Guard is the, this is the protective blend with doTERRA. So this has things, so very protecting properties and it has like cinnamon and clove and uh, rosemary. Um, it has um, orange, wild orange in it. And so it has some very protective properties and it's really good to use. Um, I use this one actually internally. So if, um, if there's a flu or something going on around, I will actually just take a drop of this um, under my tongue or I will put it in a veggie cap and take it internally with the other essential oils that I'm taking. So the second way that you use essential oils is using them internally. Um, it's funny because a lot of aromatherapists say, oh no, you can't take essential oils internally. And that's because they never had a source of really good pure essential oils before with doTERRA you can't so i wouldn't recommend you taking them internally if you're using something uh different um because they're not tested the same way so you don't know exactly what's in the bottle and then the third way to use essential oils is to use them topically so one of the ones that i love to use topically is this deep blue i actually love to use this in the afternoon too because i find it's a really great pick-me-up it's just uh it smells so good it has some um, winter green it has blue tansy it has a bunch of like really good um, uh, oils that have benefits for like your, you know, sore muscles and joint pain and things like that. So I like to use that one a lot, uh, especially like after yoga or um, a workout. And then the other one that I like to use topically a lot is lavender. Mm -hmm. So lavender is good for kind of like all things calming. It's good for calming the emotions. So if you've got, um, if you're feeling stressed, you can put it on the back of your neck or behind your ears or kind of like down the back of your spine. If you've got a child that's like having a complete meltdown, um, you want to be putting a little bit of lavender on the soles of their feet and to the back of their neck. It's also um, good for any kind of skin irritation. So when I say all things calming, it's all things calming to the skin. So if you have some type of little irritation to the skin, you want to put a little bit of lavender on there. If you've had a burn, even a sunburn or something like that, you want to be using lavender. So that's a really great one to use. Easy air. Okay, so my husband Dave is not going to appreciate this, but Dave is a snore, big time snore. So easy air, it's called breathe in the US. So you'll see them kind of mixed between the two, easy air and breathe. But this is the respiratory blend. So anybody who has any kind of respiratory issues going on, this is a great oil to be diffusing or put a little bit of coconut oil on the chest and help open up. Uh, open up the respiratory tract. So it's really good for snores like Dave. And um, I like to put a couple drops of this and either lavender or another blend called Serenity. It's the restful blend in my diffuser at night. And it just kind of like opens up the airway, kind of like refreshes the room and it calms things down. So it's really super good for sleep. Another one that I'm going to just uh, quickly talk about is, well, I have to talk about frankincense. So frankincense is the oil, like if I was on a deserted island and I could only take one oil, it's going to be frankincense because this is the king of oil. It's been revered for thousands of years. Um, it's used for, it's really good for cellular regeneration, cellular health. Uh, so I take this one internally uh, every day as well. And uh, it's really good for like calming down emotions and stuff like that. But it's also like, it's like a really good booster oil. It's really good for boosting um, any of the other oils. It's like, it kind of like combines to the constituents or the compounds in that oils and just like makes them better. It enhances them. So frankincense, you're going to see in lots of different blends and uh, lots of different recipes and things like that. You're going to be wanting uh, frankincense. And then another one that I'll just quickly talk about is oregano. So this is not a, an oil that I would use all the time, but it's one that I like to have in my arsenal. If there is something going on in my house, like if there's a big bad bug going on, I'm going to be taking this one internally in a veggie cap because it tastes disgusting and it kind of smells disgusting, but it's super powerful. I will tell you one other way that I actually use this is I cook with it. Um, it's good to cook with, um, but you can imagine like taking a hunk of um, oregano and chomping on it. It's not going to taste very good. So it 
the oil is the same. Um, but I use this in uh, cooking. So sometimes I'll make like, you know, uh, dips or I will use it to, as a marinade on meat with other herb essential oils like basil or uh, thyme, marjoram, those types of things. So it's really, really good um, to, to cook with as well. You only need a little tiny bit because it's super potent, you know, and this is actually one that's funny because a lot of people when they get into essential oils is because they just want things to smell nice. They don't really understand all the like potent benefits or health benefits of the essential oils. They don't all smell pretty like the resins and stuff like that. They don't all smell or the tree resins. They don't smell pretty but they're super good. They're super powerful for skin or with um, healing wounds and things like that. So you definitely want to have them with you because that's what you're going to be using. Um, so that's just a little high level overview of some of the essential oils. So let's now talk about how you get doTERRA into your home. Um, so doTERRA is kind of like a cost mem membership where you buy membership. It's uh, $42 in Canada and it's $35 in the United States. When you buy an enrollment kit, um, they waive, they actually waive the enrollment fee. So you don't pay that. Um, it renews annually for $30, but when it does, they send you a free bottle of peppermint. So it's kind of a wash. You get a, um, a free bottle of peppermint. So it's like five bucks or something like that. So most people start with an enrollment kit. So I'm going to talk about kind of the top three of them. This is the natural solutions kit. This is kind of like the Oh, I want to change my lifestyle and I need a total overhaul. So this has all the nutritional supplements in it. So doTERRA's number one selling product is lifelong vitality. And I'm just looking to see if I, I don't actually have it right here. I'd show it to you, but their vitamins are super good. They're uh, whole food vitamins. So they're not like the crappy stuff you get in the grocery store. These are um, superior vitamins. Um, it also has like all the digestive uh, health stuff um, like the probiotic and things like that. And it has um, it has all the top ten oils. It has like shampoo and oral care. It has the On Guard um, uh, soap, which is really really good. I love that, and um, it has the upgraded diffuser and stuff like that in it. So this this is a this is a bigger kit. Obviously, um, it's uh, six hundred dollars, and it's just like I said, this is something for somebody who like wants to start and they're like hands down they're they're all in with essential oils. This is the kit that I actually started with. And then this is the most popular kit. This is the home essentials kit. And this is what most people start with. So you get the top 10 essential oils. So you get a lot of the ones that I just talked about and you get a petal diffuser. So it's a really great way. They, what they do is they bundle it together. So you get a savings and they waive the enrollment fee. And basically with this kit, it's like you, you can start dealing with, I'd say 80% of your health issues, the common things in the house first aid, things like that, you can deal with with this kit. And it's why they call it a starter kit because then you just start adding oils from there that you like. Um, so this this kit is $330 in uh, Canada. I think it's $275 in the, in the US. Um, but this is a really good place to start. And then this kit here is kind of like a little sampler kit. This is called the Aroma Touch Diffused. It, uh, it doesn't have all the top 10 oils in it, but it has a good like little balance of, of oils in it. Um, you get a couple of the uh, the uh, blend oils. So you get um, Aroma Touch, which is really good for the lymphatic system or massage. Uh, you get Balance, which is really good for the emotions. I use that one every day on the soles of my feet. And um, so you get, uh, you get that and you get a little bottle of fractionated coconut oil with it and you get the petal diffuser. This one is $180 Canadian. And, uh, you know, you see you get a savings of like $55 or something like that when you bundle it together. I will just tell you one thing about uh, this kit, though. It's the smaller bottles. So you can see the Home Essentials kit is the bigger bottles, the 15 mil bottles. And in this Aroma Touch Diffused, it's the 5 mil bottles. So they're smaller bottles. So, you know, kind of for... Um, double the money you're getting triple the oil. So in this one, there's about 285 drops. In this one, there's about 85 drops. But it's entirely up to you, wherever you want to start. You can also start just with a membership, a $42 membership, and add the oils that you want. It's entirely up to you. These are just the options that you have. I think uh, starting with the kit is the best option because you don't ever want just one oil. You're going to be using, when you start using essential oils, you're going to be using a complement of a bunch of different essential oils. So, you know, if you're ready to get started, this is my website. It's www.mydoterra.com.
facebook.com forward slash Nancy Jane Baker. Yes, I couldn't make it any shorter than that. I also have a Facebook group called Healing Healthy with Nancy Essential Oils. So you can look me up on Facebook. Um, most of my customers are on that Facebook page. They ask me questions. Um, we share recipes and things like that. It's just a nice little group where um, I'll let you know the promos that are going on and things like that. And uh, I'll also share some of my other hippie healing loving stuff that I like. So I'm just going to take you um, out and show you how to sign up. So if you just go to that website and there's my big mug there, you'll know that you're on my site. I'm just going to move my picture out of the way here. So you just go to join and save. So click on join and save and just scroll down to the bottom. This is just talking the difference between retail and wholesale customers. I don't sell retail uh, because you, you don't get any savings. So it's, it doesn't make any sense. Um, so just go down to join doTERRA. One thing I'll just tell you is when you get your membership, you don't have to buy something a certain amount. You don't have to like share, sell doTERRA or nothing like that. You're most like 95% of the people are just like wholesale customers. Um, so you're just signing up to get your membership so that you get your 25% off because that's what happens when you get your doTERRA membership, you get wholesale pricing. So you get 25% off and then you just select, um, uh, select the country that you're purchasing from. doTERRA has like expanded, like boomed all across the world. They're, um, they're in so many different countries now. They're like a billion dollar company now. So you'll have to just go on and pick your language and pick your country. So we're just in Canada and then click on continue. And it'll just stop ask you if you want to ship from Canada or the U S because we're in Canada, not all of the products that they have in the U.S. are available in Canada, um, but we have the option of going back and forth where a lot of other countries don't. So just continue with the Canadian cart so that your kit is in Canadian funds and then just select wholesale customer. Um, and unless you want to be a share, some people will sign up as a wellness advocate. There's no different price to do that. Um, but most people are wholesale customers. And then you just click on continue and just fill in your information. So fill in your name, fill in your address, just click over here on the My Shipping address. It's the same as mailing address, if, if that's true. Uh, you'll have to put in your time zone. You don't need to put in, the co-applicant is just like if your husband's gonna do the business with you or something like that, you don't need to fill that in. Um, you do need your birthday because that's how they verify you uh, with your account if you have a customer service uh, question. And, the rest is just all filled in, create a password. And then you'll just click on continue. And when you get to the next page, you'll just see there's like a, a banner up at the top and that's where all the different kits are. So just go through and pick the kit that you want. If you wanted just a membership, you can pick that there and then just add the oils that you wanted to, um, to that and you'll be able to, to search for things through there. So you can, you can buy a kit and if you wanted to add like, uh, say you want to get deep blue and you want to add some fractionated coconut oil, you can, you'll see there's a spot to just do that. And you can just like quick search type it. So you can just type in deep blue and the deep blue rub will come up. So whatever it, uh, whatever it is you're looking to add to your kit, you can do that there. Um, and then you just put in your, um, your, credit card information and you're good to go. You'll get your doTERRA membership. So if you have any questions, just reach out to me. Um, best way to get a hold of me is on my Facebook, um, through Facebook. Um, I respond uh, best to Facebook messages. And I just want to say, you know, welcome to our oily tribe. We do one thing I will tell you about um, our team is that we produce an oil camp once a month called uh, Healing Healthy Oil Camp. And we do it, uh, you know, usually the second week of the month, because once you get that kit, we want you to know what to do with them. You're making a big investment in your health with your essential oils, and there's no point in getting them and then them sitting on the shelf. Uh, if that was the case, we, you just you don't even need to bother buying them. Um, but we want you to know what to do with them and how to use them. And so we just show you through some coaching um, in a Facebook group how to do that. So it's it's really fun. You win a prize. And um, yeah, so thanks very much. And if you have any questions, just reach out.